Now we're going to go into this home and we're going to test it for EMF radiation. We're going to first take a measurement from every AC outlet and then we're going to install the X-Guard to reduce those EMF levels down as much as 80%. Now, while I go into the home and get set up, you take a minute and watch this short news clip about EMF radiation. I'll be right back. Now what's the EMF problem? You know electromagnetic fields are affecting our lives each and every day. Did you know that the United States is currently wired with over a half a million miles of high voltage power lines? And with our everyday communications with cell phones, we depend on over 250,000 microwave relay links. And over 9 million various broadcasting transmitters and over 30 million CB radios flood our airways. U.S. industry employs over 35 million electromagnetic devices. We relax in the electronic phosphorescence of over 125 million TV sets. EMF, or electromagnetic frequency radiation, the byproduct of this explosion of electronic technology is causing a newly recognized form of environmental pollution called electronic smog, affecting the health of people from all over the world. It consists of radiation emitted from millions of domestic appliances, military installations, industrial machines, computers, radio and television transmitters, and all other devices that are dependent on being powered by electricity. The problem is clearly of overwhelming proportions. Now check out these various broadcasts that seriously address these very concerning EMF issues that we're all faced with each and every minute of every day. Technology, it's all around us how it affects our health. Buy them every day. Dr. Disrupt. Robert Blake uh, says our bodies can be knocked out of balance by an overload of electromagnetic frequencies or to it's all computerized. Thanks for the good news, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney's yeah. West have staged a dramatic demonstration exclusively for 7 News showing why they fear the installation of overhead high voltage power lines. They lit up the night to highlight their health fears. It's a trick these Rouse Hill residents really wish didn't happen. Take a normal fluorescent tube. It's not plugged into anything, yet hold it up in your hand and point it at the high voltage lines out here, and they light up by themselves. It just amazes me that there's so much EMF around. You know, we're all living right underneath this. You can't feel anything. Experts say it's because the tubes pick up the electromagnetic field, but that doesn't satisfy the locals. They want the power, but they also want it to go underground, even though Integral Energy warns an eight-kilometre extension could cost a hundred million dollars. I just can't believe that the state government will allow these towers to be put in an area where they've planned to put thousands of people. That's going to affect so many people, mm -hmm. you know, thousands and thousands of people, and they don't realise it yet. And we're just the first section of it. Richard Dean has bred greyhounds for 40 years. Anywhere else, these dogs live to 14 years. He's had 11 dogs die from cancer at less than half that age. It wouldn't be the grass or the trees, it's, it's got to be the wires, isn't it? You know, that's only logical. But do these towers cause cancer? Well, Integral Energy and other specialists agree. The jury is still out on that point. But one expert says there are alarming coincidences which need to be investigated. Some studies suggest the closer children are to power lines... There is a statistically significantly increased risk of leukaemia. Other experts say there's no evidence to back it up. Whatever the verdict, there's no convincing these Rouse Hill people. Just looking at these lights uh, lighting up, uh, you know, who'd want to live underneath that? Marguerite McKinnon, 7 News. Now we're going to take this EMF home meter made by Exedia Technologies. This meter interfaces with the power line. It measures the amount of radiation coming off this line. Now we'll take the first measurement. Now it shows approximately 300 to 350. Now we'll write this down and we'll take, we'll take notes of every outlet that we measure and we'll total that up and then we'll go back with the X-Guard and then we will total that up and we'll find out how much EMF we're able to reduce.
BMF home meter takes a measurement of gauss. Now the last time we took a measurement, it measured at 350. We'll take the measurement again. And now we'll plug in the X guard and we'll see how much reduction we get. Not bad. Now we'll take a measurement in the kitchen. Now our measurement before the X guard was measured at 340. Let's take the measurement again with the X guard. Now reduce it down to approximately 110 to 120. Not bad. Now with the EMF home meter, we were able to measure every room in the home. The average outlet measured 320, but with the XGuard EMF home filter, we were able to reduce it by 70%. Every outlet in the home measured at 97.